Hello guys, welcome to Physics Hub. My name is Shahin Shurifi and I am a PhD research scholar at IIT Delhi. In this video, I am going to share with you some of the very important tips or you can say suggestions before you appear into the GATE 2021 exam. So, first of all, what should you do the night before you GATE exam? So, on the night before you GATE exam, you should have a deep sleep of around 8 to 10 hours. You have practiced a lot throughout the year. You have understood many concepts. So you need a healthy brain to write that gate exam. And that is possible if you have a good sleep the night before you appear for the examination. So try to take at least 8 to 10 hours of good sleep on the night of your gate examination. Now in the morning take a proper healthy breakfast. Don't take excess meal but just try to take a proper breakfast in the morning and after taking your breakfast just try to revise the short notes in as short time as possible like you can take approximately two to maximum three hours to revise all of your short notes short notes are meant for that purpose only you can revise all the things all the formula in a very short time so you will finish your short notes in two to three hours on the day of your examination and other than that you do not need to read anything or write anything you just need to relax yourself so that your brain can be prepared for writing that exam and it can perform very efficiently before entering into the examination hall your brain should be functioning perfectly it should not be like feeling drowsy or it should not feel tired that is why on the day of your examination it is not recommended that you study something but for the short notes part you can revise it for once why because it will increase your level of confidence and confidence is very necessary during the examination that is why i am recommending you to revise the short notes otherwise nothing is recommended to study on the day of your examination now before you leave your home or your mess or something like that take admit card and take your pens sanitizers marks gloves and whatever things which you require to take on the day of examination id and many more things whatever it is written on the admit card you should be for properly following those things and you should do it the night before your examination so that on the day of examination you don't be in hurry and try to reach the examination hall are at least one hour 30 minutes before the scheduled time so that you don't get any mental tension let us now come to the most important part here i'll be giving you 10 most important tricks tricks or tips or you can say suggestions that you can follow during the examination first of all uh, as this is a physics channel and it can be generalized to all other subjects also but in general i'll be talking about physics so first of all there are two sections in your gate paper one is for general aptitude another is for your subjective let's say physics so first tip number one start with one marks physics question there are 25 one marks physics question now why i am suggesting you to start with one marks physics question like one marks physics question are generally set uh, very easy so you start with one marks question you solve one problem two problem three problem four problem five problem let's say at six seven eight you get stuck you are not able to solve then what will you do it will it may demoralize you and to avoid it what you can do you can go back to general aptitude section there are uh, one marks question two marks question and those questions are generally easy so it can act like a backup section the general aptitude section is a backup section whenever uh, you feel that you are not able to solve some questions uh, some consecutive questions four to five questions then it may demoralize you to avoid that demoralization we can we can to we can keep the general aptitude section as backup so this is tip number one tip number two read the questions very carefully at least two times what exactly it is asking to you so uh, let's say it is asking you something and you found something else then that will create a problem so that's that's why i'm telling you read the question at least for two times here you go tip number three don't get stuck into a particular problem it may happen that you got a question from your known concept or you know how to solve the particular problem but during the examination you are not able to solve it properly like you have solved 90 percent of that problem but you are stuck at 10 percent of it and you are literally are on the same problem from a long time that is not the case don't get stuck to a particular problem so <clears throat> next tip tip number four don't answer any question without any logical guessing 
guessing logical guessing is allowed up to some extent so if you have uh, some logical explanation to out the three options then you can choose one correct option but avoid illogical guessing or random guessing number five try to use dimension analysis technique there may be many questions where uh, the question setter has asked you to solve a lengthy problem but that problem can easily be sought or the answer can easily be found out by using simple dimension analysis technique so don't forget to utilize that dimension analysis technique tip number six don't get nervous if you if you are not able to solve four to five problems consecutively don't get nervous it's quite natural and it happens to many students so don't get con, con don't get nervous if you cannot attend you cannot solve four to five questions consecutively tip number seven keep yourself motivated all the time if you can if you manage to keep yourself motivated all the times you will definitely answer extra four to five questions for sure and <laughs> if uh, things happen opposite then it can you can have some negative marking also tip number eight keep a regular track on the remaining time how much time you are left with okay number nine after deciding an answer choose the option correctly like you have solved the a law a lengthy problem and you decided to opt for uh, option b and while choosing the option you're choosing option c and like subconsciously you chose you have chosen option c that is not the one so whenever you select an option choose it carefully although you have an option to change your answer but most of the time we don't look back to the answer we did already okay that is why i am telling you choose the answer very carefully tip number 10 final tip this exam is not the last exam for you you will have a lot of exams after it so if something goes wrong if you cannot make it well don't get worried don't get nervous don't think that everything is end if you do not get good things it means you are being directed to something better okay all the best from my side and if you have any kind of suggestion question queries related to anything of physics hub you can let me know in the comment section and if you are new new to this channel please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon finally thanks for watching Anar Academy is India's largest teaching learning platform. You can prepare for various competitive exams like UPSC, NET, GATE, IIT JAM, IIT J, etc. In particular, if you want to prepare for CSR, NET, physical science exam, you can join my Anar Academy Plus classes. Take any other plan and apply our referral code FIELDSHOP to get 10% discount. One subscription will allow you to watch all the live and recorded videos of all educators of all time. Here I have listed some of the great benefits of taking an academic class subscription. In particular, you get uh, daily live classes, you get uh, part length and full length tests, you get unlimited questions to practice, unlimited quiz, assignments and their detailed solutions and you can also watch the videos offline if you are not able to attend the classes online. So take an academic class subscription today using your referral code and put your feet one step ahead towards reaching your goal.